Hi, my name is Annalisa Fitzsimons. I'm one of our directors of Christian education here at St. Luke's. I'm sitting in our youth room so you get to see all the fun colors. So today, um, the verse that I wanted to share with you and um, just a little devotional thought is one that many of you probably already know from Galatians 5, 22 and 23. I'll read it for you now. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such things, there is no law. So I thought it would be fun to go down to our local neighborhood Publix and pick which fruits I thought go with which um, fruits of the Spirit. So shout out to our local Publix. Um, I was standing here with my list of spiritual get, or of uh, fruits of the Spirit, and they thought it was a grocery list. And so like four people were like, can we help you? Can we help you? Because I looked a little perplexed probably, but... Anyway, Publix was great, so take a look at my choices. Patience. Faithfulness. Joy. Joy. Gentleness. Love. Goodness. Self-control. Kindness, peace. Okay, I had a little bit of fun with that. Um, but in all seriousness, it's really easy to look at these fruits of the Spirit and think, man, I have a lot to work on. For me, especially, I see gentleness. I'm not known for being a gentle person. Um, and I think, man, I really wish I was better. I wish I was more like this. Um, but for humans, for what we what we know about ourselves is that we are sinful. And my every human inclination is to turn away uh, and to not do any of these things, is to do the exact opposite of these things, is to act like the sinner that I was born to be or was born as. And so the only way that we can have these, that we can grow them in ourselves, that we can exhibit them, is by having the Holy Spirit. And how do we get the Holy Spirit? That's um, through word and sacrament. Uh, when I think about my children, of course, I want them to exhibit these qualities and the best thing I could have ever done for them um, was to bring them to the waters of holy baptism, was to fill them with the Holy Spirit and baptism and to continue um, to bring them to church and to read the Bible with them. Um, and the same goes for myself. The only way I can do this is asking Jesus for help. Um, I wear my Jesus I Trust in You shirt today. I don't know if you can read that backwards or forwards, but uh, the only way that we are going to be able to exhibit the fruits of the Spirit in a silly way or in a real way is by asking Jesus for help, by saying, I want the Holy Spirit in my life and I know where to get that. I know that I can get that in God's word. I know I can get that in the sacraments. I know I can get that um, when I'm worshiping with other believers. And when I ask Jesus for that, um, when I ask our, our Father in heaven, he wants to give us those things. Um, so I just want to share that with you guys today that you can be you can be filled with the fruits of the Spirit, but the only way to do that is for the Holy Spirit to be in you. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I want to thank you so much for this day and for giving us your word and for giving us your sacrament and for not letting us live of our own accord, um, but by helping us to know that we are cherished by you. We love you and it's in your name we pray. Amen. Bye.